right now to a picture that a viewer just sent us this morning. This is from Maya in Bremerton. She says she woke up to have her morning coffee and found this tree crashed down in Yikes. her backyard. Yeah, she tells us nothing was damaged, thank goodness. But unfortunately, it's not going to be a nice snow day for her now because she's going to have to get out there the chainsaw and break things and get a hammer. And that's something yeah. you saw up close, but we yeah. saw a lot of tree branches and actual trees coming down from from the snowy, snowy weather we're dealing with. Yeah, it was really bad because we had the heavy wet snow and then we had the really strong winds earlier this week. And thankfully, wind's not a big deal today, though it could be slightly breezy. It's the snow that we're working with this morning. Look at this beautiful shot, Lake Forest Park, kind of a bluebird day after some fresh overnight snow. Thanks so much, Tiffany, for sharing this with us. A lot of spots in Puget at sound waking up to snow these neighborhood roads are in rough shape sidewalks driveways parking lots be careful out there everybody uh, this is from snow late last night north seattle anthony thanks for also uh, capturing that shot for us snowy slick and icy roads why we've got the weather alert in effect for this morning some of the heaviest snow over the kitsap peninsula the hood canal many neighborhoods in puget sound but not everybody any showers out there right now tapering quickly in general chilly afternoon sunshine and even though we're going to get a lot of melting done if these sidewalks parking lots are not treated overnight it's just going to be a skating rink tomorrow because a lot of refreezing happening into tomorrow morning and yet another round of rain and snow in the lowlands tomorrow though this possibility looks very minor and iffy uh, snow totals impacts tomorrow it depends on the position of the storm i think in general snow a possibility south of everett in fact mainly olympia tacoma and the south sound any accumulations that we get on and off tomorrow expected to be under a couple inches for the most part, just a trace to an inch at most. This is what we're seeing right now in radar clouds, especially for the coast, and these light, persistent showers. We're pushing into Snohomish County, closer to Snohomish and Monroe right now. Future cast into noon, 6 o'clock. We're going to be dealing with that chilly sunshine. Increasing clouds tomorrow morning. Do you have plans to maybe get out to the Ballard Farmer's Market, church, brunch, early morning walk or run? Good for you. Just keep in mind a rain-snow mix is a real possibility. With that continuing into noon, where the snow is coming down, it could actually be pretty heavy, dropping our visibility. A look at 6 o'clock, we're dry ever up through the border. We're also staying dry central and north coast. A lot of that action tomorrow happening over the south sound. By 7 a.m. on Monday, we're going to be waking up to some fresh snow, where that falls tomorrow. But in general, Monday, we start to dry things out. Early tomorrow morning, this is what I was talking about. That refreezing could be an issue. We're dropping to the mid to upper 20s. Any precip that falls early tomorrow morning, like falling in the form of snow, not rain. It's a really great week to download our free Fox 13 weather app if you haven't already. Radar is a great feature there. That weather alert for this morning to account for all of that snow, icy spots. Spotty showers tomorrow, mostly south of Everett, drying out Monday, mainly dry and gray Tuesday and Wednesday as those temperatures <laughs> reach in the low 40s, chilly week ahead of us. And then another possibility for showers going into Thursday and Friday. All right, much more on the snow that we saw overnight coming up next. I'll send it back to you.